I do hope you're doing well. Oh my god, how is it the monthly favourites already? Guys, I must apologise for the way that I look, okay? Since I've been back in the UK, to say I'm not adjusting well is an understatement, okay? I am not liking this weather. I have been run down, I have had a cold, and I have had the worst headaches that you could possibly imagine, okay? And as of now, I've just slept for an hour because the pain, the throbbing at the back of my head, wow, absolutely wow. So you've got me like this for a monthly favourites, but I am still kind of in pyjamas. I'm in my uh, Punta Cana top, which I have been sleeping in religiously under my dressing gown. Um, so we're a little bit mix and matchy today, but we're gonna go with it. Um, you might think there's not a lot here. That's because half the stuff was on holiday and Mama G actually got rid of a lot of stuff. There were some bits and bobs like drinks and that, that I've been loving and she's gone. I look terribly white, don't I? That's how you can tell. It's not good when uh, you look white on camera because I'm not white in real life. I'm quite flushed. I'm quite <laughs> red actually, to be honest, in real life. So, my lovelies, shall we get into our monthly favourites? For the month of October, can you believe we've got two of these left before the end of the year? Oh my god. <laughs> right, so, as you all know, I have been away for two weeks of the month in good old sunny Dominican Republic. So, my Netflix is quite small this month. There's not been a lot that I've been watching because, to be honest, since I've been back, I've not had any time. I've been trying to film and plan stuff for Christmas and obviously I'm going to Newcastle the first week so everything's a bit hectic there's a hair transformation there is not enough time in the month I need like another week off just to catch up with filming and that but we plow along every night filming after work I'm here to get that content out all right guys so Netflix what I did watch on holiday you all know Cleveland abduction true story okay i was not impressed was i on the holiday vlog when i watched it i thought it was just a general kidnapping video no it was probably a very dark kidnapping story that i've watched very very dark and i spoke about it more in the holiday vlog i just can't believe that that happened i just i literally can't believe that that happened um on a more positive note However, I wouldn't really say that this film was much more positive, but I watched The Luckiest Girl Alive with Mila Kunis in. That I really recommend. I would, however, I don't know why there's not a form of a trigger warning at the beginning of that film, because I watched it, and even for me, I was a bit like, mm. some of the topics that was discussed, I really feel could do with some kind of warning at the beginning of that film, because... It's not nice if something in there triggered you and you wasn't made aware of it. I mean, Netflix, come on. You need to put it out. But a really good film. I think it's been out for a few years. I don't think it's a new, new one for Netflix. But yeah, a good little watch. It's kind of a, um, not, I wouldn't say a horror, kind of like a thriller, like a dark thriller. You know one of them ones that like you've got to watch because it keeps you like guessing all what happened there, all what happened there, da 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 I did watch a mini series on holiday. It was only three episodes. Sins of Our Mother. Oh my God. Again, I can't understand. Our human bodies and our brains and our minds, it fathoms me to the extent that you can be brainwashed. Because that's that was the whole synopsis of this series. A mother, I don't want to say too much because it is quite a good little series. Um, you see it from like her son's point of view and everything like that. Um, basically like a cult vibe and brainwashing, and it was really sad. I did really feel for the son at the end because he lost his mum, even though she was physically here. He lost his mum, and yeah, it's all it's all fascinating to me. You know me. I love a good crime series, I love a good serial killer series, but when you see someone, someone be like so coerced, it was very, very sad, but the mind is a weird and wonderful place, let me tell you that, my lovelies. 
I did watch a little film on the plane out. It wasn't really a film. It was called Diana the Musical. You might be thinking, Shannon, what on earth is that? It's basically on Netflix. If it's still on there, go and watch it. It's not corny. It's not cheesy. It's basically a Netflix musical about Princess Diana's life. And you know what? I really enjoyed it. I love a musical. As you all know, me and Mama G, I love a good trip up at London. I really enjoyed it. It's about an hour and a half. Um, yeah, if it's still on there, I would definitely say give it a watch. It kind of, you see it a bit more from like other people's perspectives. And the songs were very, very good, if I do say so myself. Very, very good. I don't know why that's not in the West End. Like, if that was to come to the West End, I so would go and watch it. But yeah, it was on Netflix and I thought, oh, it was something that I thought I could watch and pay attention and like, it's fun. It's not something that I really need to get into because there's nothing worse than when you're on a plane and drifting in and out of sleep and you don't quite know what to watch. And I'd done that on the way home. I started the Joker, fell in and out of sleep, ended up putting Me Before You. Was it Me Before You? Yeah. The romantic film that I always cry at why do i do this and put on sad films on a plane when i'm sitting there sinking down in my seat with my little hooded cushion around crying my eyes out why do i do it to myself i know shannon you know in your head you can't watch that film and not cry but you still continue to do it thank goodness the man next to me was a uh, coyote he was well sleepy but yeah i don't know why i do it do not know why i do it and then this is kind of reeling back in normal shell we come back i watched just a few series so i have fully completed the series called the watcher a lot of you said to me when i was away shan you need to watch the watcher and i did how is that true story again how that ending it's never been found who was sending it who was doing it oh my god i have all these questions it's never been found it's like the house is cursed. The whole street is cursed. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It, whenever anything is a true story, it just grips me. Because I then pretend that I'm in their shoes. And I'm like, what would I have done? Would I have done that? la di da di da Like, honestly, if you've watched it, what would you have done? If you've watched the Watcher series, what would you have done in that situation? I would have not stayed as long as they did. As soon as I got that first letter, I would have been like, pfft. tell her. And I thought it was quite good, like, karma at the end. If you know what I'm talking about, like, um, someone who doubted them then was in that situation. And they felt pretty stupid, let me tell you that. So, yes, very, very good. And I've not fully completed it yet. I'm hoping to complete it by the end of the month. I've only got a few days left. Um, The Dharma series. Yes. Jeffrey Dharma. I've been trying to watch a couple of episodes every night after work. However, that always hasn't been the case, I'm afraid. Um, wow. I'd heard about him. And I like the new bits and bobs, you know. But to watch that actor, he's from American Horror Story as well. Oh my god, top notch. He's just so... He seems so cold when he plays him. And... It does make you unnervy when you watch it. However, everyone said to me for the first few episodes, you, you're not going to be able to watch it. Do not eat, do not drink when you're watching it. It's disgusting, da 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 Well, for the first episode, I was eating a roast dinner. And on the second lot, I was tucking through some Hershey's cookies and cream. So does that mean there's something wrong with me that I can watch them type of series and still stuff my face? I mean, perhaps... Perhaps indeed, but yeah, I think I'm on episode seven, so I've got a few left. At one point, I really did think like he changed his life. I thought he'd fan someone. I was like, yes, absolutely, he stopped now. What are all these other episodes after? And then no. And I was like, when that episode came with, say, like the parting scene, for example, and I saw what he had behind his back. And I was just like, no, you can't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. And then they went and they done love you. And I was like, oh. And then he went missing. And I was like, he hasn't. He hasn't, please tell me he hasn't. And he had. 
And I was like, no, no, you could have had it a good life. You could have stopped and you didn't. And I wasn't happy about that. I actually watched that episode when I was on my lunch break and I come into my friend at work and I said to her, no. She was like, you've seen it. I was like, why? He done nothing wrong. He loved him. I was not a happy bunny after that one. And as I say, I've got a few left. Um, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. He had the chance there to be happy, to have a life. And he just couldn't stop. He just couldn't stop. So yes, I wasn't happy indeed. Not happy indeed at all, my lovelies. Um, I also watched On Holiday, you would have seen through. These are on Cinemax, so not necessarily Netflix. But I watched Shrek 2, Rest in Peace Department, and White House Down. So I've watched a fair little bit, I'm not going to lie. But nowhere near what I normally do. Best believe there's going to be a lot next month. Well, I say that, but Shannon Lee, when are you going to get the time to do this? Because we're practically coming up to daily uploads at the end of November when are you going to fit the time in I have no idea I actually have no idea how fabulous is that but you girl likes to set herself a challenge don't she I'm feeling very refreshed after my holiday not gonna lie I feel like I could do with another little week off <laughs> but I am very refreshed for all these ideas hence why there's a lot of content and I just need to put pen to paper well put myself to the camera and get these done very excited for the hair transformation it's a lot coming there is a lot coming my lovelies okay right let's do the stuff that i can't show you before i get on to everything i can music two songs from holiday the cupid shuffle and jerusalem they was played every day every evening every afternoon without a fail okay so i will actually try and leave the tracks down below if i can find them on youtube cupid shuffle and jerusalem they are typical holiday songs cupid shuffle was what i was having my little boogie to at the silent disco when i was away and jerusalem is what was played from like the main pool bar every single day and apart from that it is of course tom walker he has got a new song out i think it's called it gets better or it'll get better and dermot kennedy dermot kennedy has a new album coming out i believe very soon i have booked tickets to his tour next year your girl secured tickets i might have been in the middle of the dominican republic but i secured them tickets for dermot kennedy's tour next year in the o2 london Woo! i'm so excited and also in a couple of weeks i have the end ups tour in newcastle I'm going to be living out like childhood Shannon Lee. Let me tell you that, okay? Childhood Shan could not believe that she's going to not just one concert, but she's booked two concerts. And who knows? Maybe I'll try going to a festival on my own. Actually, no, I think a festival might be a step too far. I can do a concert on my own. I think a festival is going to be a step too far, let's just say. However, if you've done a festival on your own, let me know. And also let me know if you've done a concert on your own. What am I going to expect? Is there anything I should take? Is there any way I should be? Let me know. Okay, let me know. Right. Let's get a little bit more comfortable. I think I'm going to lose the dressing gown because I'm a little bit warm. I'm not going to lie. And get in with everything that I can show you, finally. <laughs> right. So, look at this. Repping my uh, Punta Cana t-shirt. I, I do feel that I look very bright under this light. Thank goodness I haven't got the Hollywood mirror on at all. So you're just going to have to bear with, okay? Bear with me like this, my lovelies. So, books. Oh, God, just smashing everything. You're thinking, Shannon Lee, it's not a paperback book or a hardback book. No, it's my Kindle. I've actually been using my Kindle, my lovelies. You would have seen, I was glued to this for the holiday. I probably bought this, what, three, four months ago? Bought it on an offer at Argos. Thought, yeah, I'll take it for holiday. Never used it until the holiday. And now I'm like, oh my goodness. Will I go back to my hard books? Yes, because I've got plenty there that I actually still need to read this year. But this made a very nice change. So it's got my little screen on. The one that I read on holiday was called Silent Victim. Oh, <gasps> If you can get it on Amazon, Kindle, paperback, hardback, 
very, very highly recommend. Silent Victim, wow, that had me hooked. That had me hooked. It's kind of, I would say, a thriller based book again. A lot of my books, if you don't know me, are thriller, murder, all that light hearted stuff, you know, and um, just the doom and gloom, really. And it had so many twists and turns, and the chapters were from so many different perspectives. And when it came to the end, I was like, what? Like, please, no. I didn't want it to end. I really, really enjoyed it. And I finished that, I think, about halfway through the holiday. And then I've started a new one, which I'm on 80% because it tells you at the bottom of the Kindle, like, how many of the books you got left. I'm on about 80% now, and it's called Her Perfect Family. And wow, this one is just, again, such a story that you see from so many different perspectives. And like the titles of the chapters are like, say like, the father now, the father before, the daughter before the incident, the mother after the incident, the crazy step wife after the incident. Like, I'm really enjoying it. And I like it because, you know me, with my books, I have to finish the chapters. But for some reason, on a Kindle... If I don't finish the chapter and it's like just on a page, it doesn't bother me so much. Is that like really weird? Because I feel when I open it and look at it, it's a book page. So I don't care that it's not the start of a new chapter. It's very weird, ain't it? I don't know why my mind's doing this. If I have a physical book, I have to physically finish the chapter. But this, I do still tend to try and finish chapters. But if say I'm getting sleepy... I don't mind as much. I don't mind that it's not the end of a chapter and it's halfway through because to me, this is the book. This is what I'm opening. So that's really weird, ain't it? Very, very weird. I don't know why my brain does that. Does anyone else have that? Please let me know because I feel like I'm really strange now. Really, really strange. Right. Snacks. I haven't had much food here, to be honest, my lovelies. Um, I did have a huge bottle of Sunny D that I said to mum, don't chuck it out, I need it for a video. And she chucked it out. But since I have been home, you would have seen in my home bargains vlog, I got a big bag of sour feeny, finey sweets. Gone. I was tucking them to them on the range hall. Gone. So I haven't got anything to show for you of them, I'm afraid. But... I've not got many of these left either. Some Doritos stacks. I have been loving these as well. Getting my savouriness in. And Space Raiders. Space Raiders are life. If you know me though, however, on holiday, what food and drink was I loving on holiday? Wow. Definitely not H2O. Let's say that. There was plenty of rum and cokes. Pina coladas. Baileys. Baileys and Dirty Monkeys is what my blood consists of right now. Um, and I'm not mad about it. Food-wise, oh my god, pepperoni pizzas, burgers, salmon, chicken, steak, empanadas, tacos, burritos, and the whole blooming lot, okay? Um, yeah, if you want to see what I was stuffing in my face, go and watch the Dominican vlogs because every single vlog, there is me stuffing my face with plenty of different food. Let me believe you. Um, Mama G's actually sitting watching through the vlogs as we speak. We're doing one a night. So I'm reliving it all again. Which is a little bit nostalgic for me. But I'm going to take it. My God, I've just realised. Look at how white my face is to my arm. <laughs> my face does have a bit of colour, my lovelies. I mean, my arm just looks really... I'm directly under the light here. My face is zapping all the light. I do have a bit of colour. If you've seen the vlogs, you know I do have a bit of colour. Too much colour on the bum bum because the bum bum got burnt. But yeah, mum was like, oh my god, all this stuff you're eating. I was like, I know. I might as well make use of it. It was all inclusive. I paid for it. I mean, I made full use of the all inclusive drinks. As I say, Dirty Monk is needless say more, needless say more. But yes, and I have been loving Sunny D. But mum got rid of the bottle, I'm afraid. So uh can't really do that, I'm afraid. But Sunny D, Space Raiders snacks, and my sour sweets that just... Finito. Finito. And you're probably thinking, Sean, how are you adjusting back to the heat? I'm not. I'm really not, my lovelies. Um, 
I've got three candles out right now. I haven't got them burning yet because I think I'm having my candles burning too much and I keep getting really bad headaches. Um, I'm getting headaches at work, so it's obviously not the candles at work, but I just think the candles sometimes contribute to the headaches here because obviously like I have them directly by my bed. I'm laying there, direct fumes, all of that jazz, you know? So I'm kind of only trying to put the candles on once I get comfy and I try and face away from the candles because it's not good not good having constant headaches at the moment so uh yeah <laughs> setting back into normal life eh um but i have worked my way through a few these haven't just been in my room these are the ones that i've had like in the hallway or in the bathroom but you'll recognize them all you will recognize them all we have this one best believe i will be washing this container out and keeping it this was from next the next halloween haul and then Home Bargains, I picked up my first little Wickford & Co one, didn't I? Normally I just have the tea lights and diffusers of this brand, but you also give the candles a go. I'm not going to lie, I was very hesitant. I was monitoring it. I didn't want any uh, breakages, but pumpkin chai, pumpkin chai. I think this was like £152 for this size, which is so affordable at the moment. And you'll know these. These are all from like TK Maxx and HomeSense. And they're all like pumpkin ones, apart from my baby one. So we've got the little apple honey butter. This is DW Home. Classic. $3.49. They have gone up slightly, but still a lot cheaper than having the heating on at the moment. Then we had this big one, which I think was DW Home as well. This was about £10, £11. This was lovely. This was a cider scent. And then this one, the Martha Stewart, which again, I'm going to be uh, burning out because what a lovely little jar that is after... And I've also got the big one, so I want to keep like the matching pair. But this was about £12, I think. This was white pumpkin scent. Oh, it was divine. And then the ones I've got burning now are all DW... Oh, no, I've got Sand and Fog Haunted Harvest. And then DW Home Spooky Spice and Vampire. Spooky Spice and Vampire, indeed. But, yeah, I have uh, well and truly <laughs> been going through the candles. And so is Mama G, because, as I say... I don't want to give my money to British Gas, I'm afraid. I don't want to do it at all. What have we got? Oh, phone case this month. I didn't really change it. I reverted back to the lemons because it didn't feel right having an autumnal case on holiday. So I reverted back to that one. But I need to be uh, having a look on Amazon. I've got to order a new Christmas case because where I changed my phone, there's something... They moved the camera... And the camera slot's not the same. So I need to look for a nice little Christmas one for November. Well, a winter one for November and Christmas can be December. <laughs> so excited. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Holiday essentials. You're probably wondering and thinking, Shan, there's not really an order. Normally we have our designated categories. But it's kind of just a bit mumble jumble. A bit like my brain at the moment. So uh, let's all just flow with it, okay? The accessories. Accessories for holiday were my ride or die backpack. This was probably the best six pound I've ever spent in Primark. If you had been watching the holiday vlogs, you know this came with me everywhere. This was in my beach bag with my electricals in. So I would put like, if say I was going down to the pool, I'd have my headphones, my portable charger, my Kindle in here, and then I would put it inside my beach bag. Because obviously, when you're getting in that water, obviously water, you don't want going on your electrical. So I used to have my beach bag and then have this on top with all my bits and bobs in. Everything was safe. Blooming loved it. Let me tell you that. Absolutely loved it. And my ride or die evening heels. These were worn every single night apart from one night. And they are actually from Matalan. They are papaya, my lovelies. I know I kept saying, I can't remember if they're Tesco or Matalan. Or, what, I definitely knew they were Primark. I thought it was Tesco or Matalan. I think they were £12 if I remember correctly. Best heel ever. They was a decent height. So I had a few inches, probably about four inches. But they were so comfy. So, so comfy. And yeah. They are probably now going to be my go-to holiday heel. I have got a pair from Primark that's slightly higher, but they was a good height because, as I say, it was kind of like a little bit of a walk to some of the restaurants on Complex. So you definitely don't want anything that's like you're going to break your neck on, you know? So, yes, highly enjoyed them. Very, very much indeed. And also my power bank, which 
I have been loving upon my return home because I don't normally have this joyous light on. I normally live off my galaxy light projector, which I bought a few months back, you know. The best, I still say now, the best thing I've bought off Amazon this year. Absolutely love it. But this is the power bank. I think I got this off Amazon. I mean, this was years ago. You can get them on there. I think for something like this, this is a dual port with a light and it's a sturdy, it's 20,000 mAh. It's got a lot of charge on it, this one, okay? This is kind of like what I would say is a daddy of power banks. You get them on Amazon. Probably for something like this, they range between 30 and 60, just depending what, because some you can get with, like, loads of more different attachments and everything in that. But, yeah, this, best friend on holiday, best friend, now I'm back. Can't be anywhere without my power bank. Apologies if you hear banging. It's currently quarter to seven on an evening and there is a man up there putting cabling up you know like the last thing you need when you've got a headache is like banging or drilling or knocking so we, we're just gonna go with it i'm just i'm counting down the days until jamaica already i really am i really really am my lovelies and another little accessory this is kind of like holiday and general it's this tripod you know the tripod that I got from Amazon that I had no idea how to work? Oh my god, this was a lifesaver. This is what my camera was attached to for the holiday 24-7. It was about £12, I believe. If I can find it from the Amazon haul, I'll link it down below. But honestly, fabulous. This is also what I was filming the TikTok jumping... Uh, like outfit transitions if you follow my tiktok it's down in the descriptions box i done a thing every night because i thought you know what i really want to try that trend where like you jump and then you change outfits and my camera I'd, i wanted a good quality on it so with this because you turn the nozzle and then it dropped to the side so i could put my camera to the side and then i would just like rest my phone against it for stability but absolutely loved it i said to mum, this is probably again this is probably up there with the Galaxy projector for the best things that I've bought off Amazon. Was it Amazon or was it eBay? One of them. I'll look back through the halls, my lovelies, and I'll find it and I'll link it. Because if you're someone who just wants a little camera just for like a tiny little setup. So like if you put it on a table or something to vlog into. Or you just want something with a bit more stability so that when you hold it, you're not actually holding the physical camera get this this i cannot recommend highly enough cannot recommend highly enough all right and also before i get on to that why is my phone pinging off what have we got tonight oh tonight is the cherries halls cherries halls if you haven't seen that it's the video before it's um a collaboration so if you haven't shopped on cherries there's a little discount code for you if you want to uh, give it a go that's for sure my lovelies is youtube i haven't been watching much on youtube as i say because being away, I kind of had a detox from all social media, YouTube, like replying to comments. I didn't reply to comments for a while. I am back up to date. Well, I was at the time of filming this. It took a while. I think there was around six to 700 comments from the time that I'd been away. And I sat there and I replied back to you all. So mwah, thank you so much. Apologies for the delayed response. But trying to get back into normality, you know. Um, the only person that I've watched this month you know who I'm going to say is Mr. Wraith Charles, who is so, so close to 200 subscribers. Like, he's there. He's in, it's just in his little fingertips, is there. Um, I caught up with all of his vlogs. Um, he had pumpkin picking. He's done his Christmas wreath making. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. He had the Halloween home tour. If you're looking for, like, wholesome content, I'll link him down below as always. Go and check him out. Such a fabulous, just fabulous fabulous channel love ben love seeing the cats and yeah i was like you know what i need to catch up on that so i think i watched a few when i was abroad and then once i come back it was like right i am binging you today and i'm catching up on you and that i did indeed so yes yeah. lots of love to you all because you're just fabulous as you would say iconic you're iconic my lovelies and then there is actually a little bit of makeup only a tad but there's still enough because your girl was very own natural on holiday. But for the evening, she did try and put a bit of slap on, you know. Um, I would say I would show you my foundation because it was a different shade. It was the 
Now, if I remember correctly, it was Rimmel. Rimmel, I'm going to say they do like a 24-hour one. But I fear I may have left it on holiday or it is somewhere in makeup bags because I haven't actually yet decanted like all my makeup bags and all the toiletries bags. These are just bits that I managed to grab out from what I could find. But the back room at the moment is just an absolute mess. There's washing, there's the clothes, there's bikinis, <laughs> there's stuff to put away, there's stuff to still be washed, there's stuff to go through. It's just a whole, it's just a whole hot mess at the moment. I mean, if you could see that back room, Whew. you wouldn't think that in probably like two weeks that's going to be a little Christmas wonderland because at the moment it looks like an absolute heap sight but we're going to go with it that's what we've got to try and tackle at the weekend my lovelies that is what we are going to try and tackle okay but from what I did manage to pull out fix plus but this isn't the one that I had so why was that in the back room this I think is the second one that I wanted to take but obviously my case was about four kilos over so I had to remove the unnecessary items but I think the one that I took on holiday was the original the rose one but hey it worked it worked a treat this I absolutely loved on holiday the primer oh my god you know the primer I actually primed my face every night before I put on foundation I know who is she and of course, the go-to lipstick was Velvet Teddy, one of the most gorgeous shades. And I sometimes paired this with a butter gloss, the NYX butter gloss, shown it many a times. They were like my go-to combos. And then my skincare was shocking out there. It was, wasn't it? I didn't pack enough. I think with the whole scenario leading up to the holiday, I was very flustered. Here's hoping next year I actually have a decent skincare bit, you know? But it consisted of two cloths, which they stayed well and truly in the Dominican trash because they was filthy at the end. Um, my cellar water, which I needed to actually take a big bottle. I only took the tiny one. I had my tiny Clinique take the day off, which I used <laughs> empty. But thank goodness I have a big one. If you are someone who wears false eyelashes, eyeliner, I cannot recommend this enough. I think there's a little fly in my room. No, this is the only stuff that I find that takes off my eyeliner, my mascara and my eyelash glue. You know if you have it and it's like a little bit crusty at the top, give this a good little scratch with this and it comes off no problem. So yes, highly recommend that. And also my moisturiser that I used to slather on my skin, I had plenty because I ended up buying one from Boots and Superdrug, was the Nivea Mattifying Day Cream. I know it says day cream, but your girl used to put it on of an evening. Oh. <sighs> Woosa, Shan. Woosa. But yes. Nivea, this little day cream. It says day cream. You can put it on your skin. Your skin doesn't know when it's daytime or nighttime, does it? So we just, we're going to go with it and have that. My body, however... I have been trying because I'm trying to maintain this tan, my lovelies. I'm trying to hold on to this goddamn tan for as long as I can. I've waited three years to have a tan. I mean, just looking at this in the viewfinder, <laughs> my arms to my face. It's like when you fake tan and you don't fake tan like your neck up and you just fake tan your arms. I have a, this is natural tan, you know me. My two body butters that are practically empty. This one is destitute. And I think I've probably got one more application of Pina Colada. Yeah, I've got a tiny bit there. These, because not every night would I put um, after sun on. Sometimes I just wanted to top my skin up and keep it nourished. So Pina Colada Body Shop and Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. Those, lifesaver. However, luckily I had another pot of after sun when I come home. And this is pretty much half empty. Can you still buy after sun when it is not summer? Because if not, I think I need to kind of quickly go and get another couple of bottles just to uh, stay topped up. Because this is about half gone. I've been back almost two weeks and yeah, there's not a lot left. This I swear by. Absolutely swear by. Piers Buen After Sun but with the Tan Intensifying Lotion. I probably rate this higher than the Garnier one. I used to always use the Garnier one. Didn't have that this year. Used this. Blooming loved it. 
I tell you what I would recommend, which again, I don't have because I used and couldn't bring the empty bottles back because I had no space in my suitcases. The Hawaiian Tropic, I think it is, 15 SPF tanning oil. I know people are going to be saying, Shan, you shouldn't use tanning oil, but I did. It worked fine. The Nivea 50 Factor Spray worked fine. Still a bit of palaver for the back for me to do. It wasn't as easy, so I'm going to have to look into some tips next year. I might have to do it where I put the sun cream on and then get like a loofah or something and do my back like that because the 50 worked great, but I still couldn't get... If you saw the videos, you saw me trying to tan my back and I'm just like, help absolutely help also bondi sands spf 50 facial sunscreen mist oh my god that is probably the one product that i really rate from holiday because my face always used to peel my nose would always peel my forehead would always peel and just under there i didn't peel once on holiday the only place i did peel was my bum and the middle of my back my bum was because i burnt it and I forgot to reapply sunscreen. And my back, it was the middle bit where I couldn't get with the tanning mist. So those parts are excusable for me. But the fact that my face didn't tan, uh, didn't tan. Well, it don't look like it tans in this camera, does it? Um, the fact that my face didn't peel, very, very high thumbs up for Bondi Sands, let me tell you that. And then this, I still put this on my face. Still do it. This is the Soleil by Superdrug Sensitive After Sun Facial Serum. Because, as we all know, I had a problem in Greece. I don't know why, but my face, I think they said that the SPF, it was like allergic. My face was allergic to normal SPF, which sounds absolutely silly. So, I made sure I had a separate facial SPF and a separate facial after sun. This, I think, was like £4. Absolutely love it. And it's got aloe vera in, rebalancing and calming, and it's an aqua gel formula. Very, very nice. And my go-to lip balm, mwah, I still wear this now. I'm still clinging on, <laughs> clinging on to that tiny bit of summer left while I'm putting a jacket and a hoodie and my hat and my gloves on and I'm going out. And I'm like, oh, it's so dark and foggy. Is Bondi Sands again, lip balm, SPF 50, tropical mango. Again, when I go on holiday, normally my lips chap. My face will peel and my lips will chap and burn. Nothing nothing with these so definitely for next year bondi sands and piz Buren will be at the top of my list for my skincare uh for sun care i used to just stick with garnier mm -mm. game has changed and what we're going to end on the game has changed massively with perfumes okay you know what who i'm going to bring out don't you <laughs> So, perfumes, 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 perfumes. I lived in DKNY Women when I was abroad. Uh, that gone, absolutely gone. I have the tiniest bit of this left, but I thought I need to bring something back from holiday to show. This is the little Jean Paul Gaultier Sailor. The DKNY Woman is the clear, like, grey bottle. I'll link it down below. It was such a lovely holiday scent for just the daytime, you know. It was very light. It was very fresh. It wasn't too heavy. And something that you could just spritz away and you're good to go, you know. This I would spray more for the trips when I was out because it was a bit more womanly, you know. A bit more adult-fied. However, you know I treated myself at Duty Free. Where do I even begin? So let's start with this, shall we? Because this wasn't the perfume that I was supposed to buy. When I was at the airport going out, I had a really bad cold from being run down. Couldn't smell anything. Nose was bunged. I smelled this and was like, yeah, I'm sure that's it. I got a tester when I got perfume a few months back and I thought it was Tom Ford Noir. See this baby? This is what I thought it was. And I said, I bet you I go home and check the sample and it's not. And I got home, checked the sample and it wasn't. However, I was very lucky enough that once my smell had come back, I really liked it. I think this is the unisex one. So it's for man or woman because the tones of it could be like an aftershave, you know? So Tom Ford Noir, this was kind of like on holiday, my really nice one. So if I was going to like the steakhouse or number 10 or the Italian, this is what I would bring out. 
on nights when I didn't want it to be so heavy, this was actually recommended to me by one of the girls at work. She was like, Shan, you love fruity scents. This is right up your street, all right? My goodness, look at the bottle. Just look at that, for example, to start with, okay? This is called Fame by Paco Rabanne. And it is the most gorgeous, fruity, citrus, sweet perfume I have smelled in a long, long time, okay? This is like peaches and mango, and I'm sure there's some melon in there. It is divine. Absolutely divine, let me tell you that. And this, it was more the bottle that sold it for me on this, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even really care what it smelled like. I wanted the bottle. This was kind of like my ones where I would go to the Land Shark, which was the American Grill, the Asian, if I was just going to the bar. Just a bit more of a fun perfume, you know, but... Yes, I have been alternating like crazy between these two since I've been back at work. Just trying to trying to hold on to that momentum. However, the one that I needed to get from Tom Ford was Black Orchid. So I think I might treat myself to that maybe next month. Kind of like an early Christmas present from me to me, you know? But if I do, best believe I'll tell you, won't I? And my lovelies. You're probably thinking, Shan, there's no gym episode um yeah i went to the gym once on holiday and i haven't been back to the gym since i've been back there's just been no time but we will oh hello we will uh, be getting into it once i am back from newcastle so the second weekend of november your girl was back to it i was going to try and get there tomorrow after work to do a spin class but I don't think I'm going to make it, which is gutting. I really wanted to get back into it, but I don't think that I am. What is that on there? Ay, ay, ay. Because I need to film, I need to edit, and I think if I keep getting these headaches, the last thing I need is to be running two and a half mile at the moment, then doing an hour spin class, and then a two and a half mile run back. It's just, it's just not a bit of me, is it? So, that is October monthly favourites done so my lovelies i do hope you've enjoyed this monthly favorites as i say it's not been quite a long one where i've been rabbiting on because i've been away for two weeks of the month so my time if you want to see me rabbiting on there is five holiday vlogs that are like from two and a half hours to an hour and a half you can go and feel your heart's content because i rabbit on on them way too long you see my adventures you see what i'm eating what i'm loving what i'm watching what i'm wearing those are kind of like the monthly favorites part one let's say well part one to five and this is just the little roundup for when we're home but best believe next month oh next month's gonna be big next month will be big because uh we are back we are back we will be home i'm not jetting off anywhere apart from newcastle but that's only for four days we will be back so it's gonna start getting in the winter bits start getting in the christmas bits and I cannot wait for that, let me tell you. But my lovelies, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit from the, I would say, haul? What was your favourite bit from the video? Any skincare bits? Did you watch the Dominican? I know a lot of my regulars and a lot of newbies I found through the comments had found me through the Dominican vlogs. So hello, welcome to the channel. Um, they are These monthly favourites, my lovelies, are normally like an hour. But as I say... Head's not feeling the greatest. We've got cabling going on upstairs. And I wasn't here for half of it. So this is kind of the last little bit of the month of my favourites. But yes, take care. I'm not going to wrap it on because you're going to see me tomorrow for another video, aren't you? Yes, you are indeed. Take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.